Hello everyone, it's Dr. H. Today I'm going to introduce audiogram. When we have a hard time hearing people speaking, music or TV, we may want to consult our doctor. Typically, after some initial examination, they will ask us to do a hearing test. This is a typical setup. We sit in a sound booth. Typically, the sound booth is double or soundproof. Very quiet. Basically, we can hear nothing inside the sound booth. Inside sound booth, we will hear we will not watch, we just hear. We will hear a series of beeps. When we hear a beep, we press a button one time. It takes about half an hour to finish the test. One year at a time. Eventually, we will see a result like this. The X axis is the frequency in Hertz. 250, 500, 1000, 2000, 4000, and 8000. Those are important frequencies for us to hear speeches, music, and natural sounds, etc. Y axis go from negative to positive from minus 10 to 120. So once we see the result, we are sure that circle means right ear, cross means left ear. For example, in this chart, I have a hearing capability of 15 dB or decibel. 15. That's the 15 is the lowest sound, lowest volume I can hear on my left ear. On the other hand, on my right ear, the lowest I can hear is 10. 10 decibel. So that's how to re represent or interpret the audiogram. Another example, at a frequency of 8000, my left ear, the lowest volume I can hear on 8000 frequency is 70 decibel. In this particular case, doctor may say you have 70 decibel or 70 dB hearing loss on a sudden hertz on your left ear. Then right ear is worse because Right ear is 5 dB lower, below the right ear. So in that sense, I can see that my right ear is worse than my left ear on a sound hertz. So that's how you interpret the result from the doctor after hearing test. Continue. Okay, so now I have a hearing test result. I see the chart. What does it mean? Based on the degree of our hearing loss, there are 
different categories, typically four categories. One is mild hearing loss, the other moderate, then severe, then profound. If you go back to C here, if our hearing loss is between minus 10 to 25, that's considered normal hearing. 25 to 40, mild. The severe, 70 to 90, we probably will need to put on a hearing aid if we are in this range. Below 90, it's very close to death. So, If we are in this range, we probably need a hearing aid for severe hearing loss. If both ears of ours unfortunately fall within profound hearing loss, we probably need one cochlear implant or two implanted into our head because we want to get back to social life. That's very critical. That's very critical. And uh, our uh, auditory system is like, we have to use it daily. Otherwise, some parts of our auditory system will degenerate and will not recover. So we, we need to uh, use uh, sounds to stimulate our auditory pathway so that they can be alive all the time in our life. So once we have some hearing loss, we want to intervene. We don't want to let it go and uh, let it be. So that's very important. So when, whenever we get a result of our audiogram, whenever we finish our hearing test, we want to examine our audiogram carefully and ask the doctor for advice because it's important to keep our auditory system working all the time. That's important. It's very, very important to know that if you don't use it, you lose it. So we can see that uh, in this uh, very typical example, um, I would say the previous uh, autogram is a very typical shape for many hearing impaired seniors, even young people. If they have high pitch frequency loss, It looks exactly like this. A pretty flat curve between 250 and uh, a southern. After that, there's a steep slope going downward. So that's very typical shape. The hearing aid basically will correct and compensate particularly high frequencies. so that enough amplification will be delivered to our ear. We can hear better and more clear. Okay, how a normal hear person's audiogram looks like? If a person has a normal audiogram, both left ear and right ear curve are like this. Within the range of normal hearing. So that's a normal hearing audiogram. Okay, so we can see in, in the previous chart the symbols dip from 2000 to 8000 hertz. That kind of indicates a high frequency hearing loss. And it is severe.
because we can see at high frequencies 4,000, it these two frequencies hearing losses fall within severe range. So we can claim this person has high frequency hearing loss that is severe. And surely this person has trouble hearing high pitched sounds like bird chirping, female voices, certain words with constant like sh, sh, t, sh, those consonants because those consonants are high frequency or high pitched. That person most likely has no clarity or little clarity that we need to understand speech. Or we can say that it's better to have a hearing aid as early as possible. With proper hearing aid, this person can enjoy social life better and the auditory system will become more active. All the components along the auditory pathway will be more healthy. So overall, when we see an audiogram after a hearing test, let us pay attention and understand what it is. Okay, if you like my video, you can subscribe. Bye-bye.